Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee. I come from Bukit Matajam. And um, it's in the northern part of uh, Peninsula Malaysia. And at this time now, I'm staying in the southern part of Peninsula Malaysia, Johor. In a, a town called Klon. Okay, right. Welcome to my program and thank you for watching. As you know, I'm now uploading my videos. Um, I'm actually teaching my book. Alright, to you know to simplify, I'm teaching my book, which was um, published two years ago or even longer than that. And um, I'm now uh, writing uh, book three, a continuation of this book. Uh, the only difference is that um, my book three will have two more chapters. This is 40. We have 40 chapters here. Level 1 or book 1, 38, 40. And uh, book 3, 42. Because um, I don't see, you know, I, I, I truly don't see 60, 70, 80 chapters for grammar alone. I think most likely 55 would be a lot. I mean the different topics in grammar. So, um, my level 3 would have 42 lessons. And uh, all 40 lessons in this book will also be in lesson in book 3. Because all 38 lessons of this book are in this book. And then I add 2. In book 3, all 40 lessons will be in book 3 plus two more new lessons. As I told you, you can't have a situation where you tell me that I have studied uh, in primary school, uh, year four, I studied um, positive and negative sentences. So when I'm in form four, I don't need to learn positive and negative sentences. And when I go to the university, I don't have to learn what I learned in form four. So I'm telling you it's absolutely untrue because what you learn in year 4, you also have to learn the same thing in Form 4 and you also have to know the same thing in University 4th year and you also have to learn, know when you have a child who is 4 years old and you also have to know the same thing when you have worked for 4 years. Why? Because it's all grammar. So grammar is everything that you might have to learn from year 4 up to form 4, up to university year 4, up to the time your child is 4 years old, up to the time you are working for 4 years. You still have to know the same topics. So it does not mean that year 4 you studied, so form 4 you don't have to study again. No, absolutely untrue. Okay, that is why you see my book. All the 38 lessons in book 1 are in book 2. All the 40 lessons in book 2 are in book 3. And all my 42 lessons in book 3 will be in book 4. See or not? What is the difference? The difference is that what you learn in year 4. When you go to form 4, you still have to learn the same thing. But it's much, 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 much harder. It's the same. So you, you, you ask me, what is the difference between your level 1 and level 2? The topics are the same. So what is the difference? Yes, the topics are the same, I told you. What you have learned in year 4, you have to learn in form 4. You also have to learn the same topics when you are in your university, if you apply, when you are doing your assignments. When you work, you have to use what you learn in year 4, form 4. So what is the difference? The difference is, like myself, like my books, level 2 is more difficult than level 1. The topics are the same, but the questions are harder, more difficult. My level 3 will be more difficult than level 2. My level 4 will be more difficult than level 3, and so on and so forth. So the only difference is the level. 
it is not the topics. Oh, you have learned this. So next year, no need to learn this, learn this. Not language. If you know Bahasa Melayu or Bahasa Cina, Mandarin, I'm sure you will know language. Don't tell me you learn in Bohan Me in year four. Like Menulis. Then you go to form four, no need to learn in Bohan Me. Is it possible? You still have to learn in Bohan Me. When you work, you need to use in Bohan Me. In your writing skills, in your speaking, maybe, you know, presentation, that part of speaking, you still have to use in Bohan Me. See or not? Ah, so language is like this. There's no such thing as saying that I have learned before, therefore I do not learn, need to learn again. Absolutely untrue. Okay? So, um, this book has 40 lessons, 4 zero. Now, I'm at lesson 36. Four more lessons to go finish. Close curtain. Okay? Level 2 is will be finished when we touch lesson 40. Okay? I'm now writing like uh, book 3, but I I truly don't know when it's going to finish. Because, <laughs> uh, it's been a long, long time. I haven't even sit in front of my computer and do my book 3, really. Now, lesson 33, positive and negative sentences, exercise 2, video 2, page 106 if you have the book. So we are now doing this, positive verbs, negative verbs. Exercise 1, change positive verbs to negative verbs. Exercise 2 now, change negative verbs to positive verbs. So the red color is the answer. Okay, now, um, positive verbs. Positive verbs are used when we agree, when we admit, when we say yes. Negative verbs, we don't agree. We don't admit, we deny, and we say no, that is negative. Alright, so now we are going to change negative to positive. Am not becomes am. Is not becomes is. Are not becomes are. Was not becomes was. Will not becomes will. Cannot becomes can. Could not becomes could. Shall not becomes shall. Should not becomes should. Will not becomes will. Would not becomes would. The other side. Must not becomes must. May not becomes may. Might not becomes might. Has not becomes has. Have not becomes have. Had not becomes have. And we have finished the whole exercise. Okay? So, uh, remember to give me a like, share and subscribe. Uh, to motivate me. Truly. Sometimes not only teachers need students to, I mean, sometimes not only students need teachers to motivate them. Sometimes teachers need students to motivate them as well. Not only we motivate students, students should motivate us as well. So do give me a like, share and subscribe to motivate me. Okay? Now, um, if you wish to buy my book, okay? Whether it is um, book one, book two, or both, okay, you contact me. My contact number is over here. Just WhatsApp to me. And um, book two, I have one book left, the last one. And after that, perhaps another. You know, I I will print again, of course, but uh, it will take time. So if uh, I have finished selling the last book. And anybody wants to buy book two, that person would have to take, would have to wait uh, a minimum of two weeks. I will, I will uh, print. The problem is sometimes the printing company they need time. If they have a lot of 
uh, materials to print, then we will have to wait maybe three or four weeks. Okay. If you want to learn speaking, you can come to my TikTok, my Instagram. And uh, if in your area, your place, you have enough people who want me to go there and teach, I can. I would like to invite any part of Malaysia, including Sabah, Sarawak. Previously, I was um, teaching in Sabah. Okay, I I was um, I was in the capital first, Kota Kinabalu, and later on I went to Sandakan. Actually, Sandakan is the old capital of Sabah. Okay, and uh, it's developing quite fast. Of course, uh, Kota Kinabalu is considered, you know. Uh, develop, you know, and uh, I was in both, uh, you know, both towns before um, coming back to Peninsula Malaysia. Of course, now I'm in Johor, in Kluang, but uh, Kluang is not, Johor is not my birthplace. My actual home is in Bukit Mataja, in the northern part of. Uh, Peninsula Malaysia Okay So um, If you have enough people You can always contact me And we can uh, discuss um, Maybe one or two weeks Is okay Of course the, there must be You know there must be enough people And uh, of course The students have to pay Okay have to pay fees In order that I go there to teach a physical class. Now, let us say there are only um, a few or just yourself. Any aspect of English you want me to teach? For example, business English, how to write emails, how to speak fluently, grammar, writing essays for students, you can you can just tell me and uh, I, I can teach. Short courses, maybe one or two weeks. Okay, so it does not mean that I come one or two weeks and you'll be very good. But uh, I believe that many students, if they are students, uh, uh, many students, they have their own tuition. What I'm doing is that if I go over one or two weeks, I only guide you on the, play, on the area that you are weak in. I mean, anyone is the same. You can't be good in everything, you know, language. Maybe you are good in speaking, but when it comes to writing, you have a lot of problems. Maybe you can write, but you cannot speak. It's normal. There are many people who have uh, comprehension uh, problems. They don't actually understand what they read. Uh, this is one part. See? But maybe they can speak. But some people can write and read. They can understand, but they cannot speak. So I will be only doing the area that you are poor in, that you are weak in. If you are okay in that area, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to, you know, you don't need me to guide you. And of course, once I leave the place, I'm not there. You can continue if you are taking tuition elsewhere. Of course, I do teach adults as well. Okay, you, if you are an adult and you need any guidance from me at all, you can always um, contact me. Okay, so that's all for, you know, this session. See, you see what happens when I only have one exercise. Yeah? I can't even, uh, I, I can't even use 10 minutes. I mean, I will just finish in maybe 5 or 6 minutes if there's one exercise. Then if we have two exercises, maybe I have to squeeze the right thing. And then again, there might be some problems. So I would like to try. Maybe for the next exercise, exercise uh, 3, I will see whether I can do 3 and 4 so that I can extend a little time and I don't have to talk you know, so much um, I feel that you know, every video I'm saying almost the same thing and you might feel bored you know, if every time you are following my video ah, again, there she goes <laughs> she then don't have a choice alright, that's all for now that's all for this uh, video I will see you again in the next video Alright, goodbye.